Right now we are at SEO's electric drivetrain test rig uh, to test the performance of our electric propulsion unit. This is a very crucial step on our path to the Hard X1 flight demonstrator's first flight. So we'll be using this test bed with SEAL's braking system to test our motor and inverters to the 400 kilowatt power level. This motor and power level is specific to the X1 demonstrator. And we'll also be simulating the X1 flight performance through takeoff, climb, cruise, and go around power levels to ensure that these motors are fully performance capable. The electric motors is absolutely one clear challenge because uh, we need high efficient motors, low weight motors, high performing motors, and at the same time, truly safe and reliable motors. We're about to turn all the systems on. It's 700 volts DC power at our takeoff power level of 400 kilowatts with the max torque and max speed of our motor. And we're about to find out what data we can acquire from that test. Yes. Stabling yes. in. We are at four. Yes. Yes. That's we have right. reached uh, 400 kilowatts. Great. So now we're going to simulate a flight cycle. So we're going to take the flight profile that's expected for the Hard X1 demonstration flight and make sure that we're all okay when it comes to all of the electronic and thermal capabilities of the motor. So we'll do the taxi out procedure. So RPM 500. The aircraft is now going to increase its power to 360 kilowatts, which is the takeoff power. Let's see if we can get this inlet coolant down now. That would be nice. And now the aircraft is climbing. So now this is the critical phase. All oh, water temps are looking good. Really nice. And the inverter is at 90. And the aircraft will finalize its descent and land safely back at the airport. So there we go. Touchdown. Good job. Good job. Yeah. First flight profile. Really good. So next step, replacing the dynamometer from the lab with our propeller on our propulsion rig and be performing full system testing in the upcoming weeks.